Okay, time for review number two. Jakey Jakey's ready. All right, so this was the ebook I read. It's fiction. Um, and it's called. Let me pull it up here. Hold on. I need a freaking handle for the top of this. Uh huh. Hold on, Jake. I'm gonna drop you. Not drop him. He's just gonna fall over for a second. Uh... All right, here we go. Ooh, they finally came out. Ghosts Beneath Our Feet by Betty Ren Wright. I think this was um, the reason I picked this one because it was kind of a 90s uh, YA horror book. I've been finding a lot of those um, on ebooks. So, Ghosts Beneath Our Feet by Betty Ren Wright. And we're giving this three stars. Okay, this was a very short book. It was like 80 pages, ebook pages. So, it was less than 100. So, of course, it's not counting towards my goal for the year. So, <clears throat> I was like, oh, good, a Halloween read. Ghosts Beneath Our Feet. Yeah. So, it was a it was a good story. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't scary because, I mean, this could have been, been a kid's book. Not really a teen one. So, the premise is, <clears throat> our uh, main character, her mom and her stepbrother, um, go to this town. Because they're originally from Milwaukee. They go to this town called New Quay. Because her uncle and requests them to be there because I guess he's having problems being by himself. So the girl's excited because she's like, oh, new town. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be pretty and I can make new friends, blah, blah, blah. Go to town. It's a ghost town. It's dirty, disgusting, whatever. That's how she explains it. So she's not too happy. Um, so they go to the uncle's house and they help him and whatever, cook for him and all that stuff. So, she meets this girl, so she befriends somebody, and the grandmother starts telling her haunted stories of my, uh, ghost miners living underneath their house. <coughs> and, of course, the girl believes her. They're called the Knackers. <coughs> Excuse me. Her stepbrother, Jay, gets involved with the bad boy of the, of the town. He rides a motorcycle. So, that being said... Uh, and I forget, I already forget the lead character's name. I'm so bad with names. She and her friend, uh, find this old abandoned shaft house. They go in it and then she sees a ghost. So she, they're trying to investigate about the knackers, about the miners, and about this ghost. So, like I said, a cute story. Not scary. A cute story, um, about going to a new town meeting new people she, her and her stepbrother kind of argue a lot he doesn't want to be there nobody likes him he's not he doesn't think he's part of the family blah 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 um was there really knackers i can't say because i'm not giving a spoiler if you actually want to read this book um but like i said um i did enjoy the ending i did not expect it so it was a surprise to me um yeah and it was a happy ending so, I mean, I'm not talking about the surprise, but there was a happy ending to this book. So, oh, no, it was a cute, it was a cute book. Why read more by her? Probably not. But, you know, it was a cute book. I didn't mind reading it. it. It was a nice short book to read, so I didn't mind at all. So, we're giving Ghost Beneath Our Feet by Betty Wren Wright. Betty Wren Wright. Ooh, ooh, it turned. Why did it turn? I didn't even flip it. Hold on. Sorry, Jake. There we go. Ah! Jake uh, is very tired, apparently, tonight. Ghost Beneath Our Feet by Betty Wren Wright. Jake, you gotta wake up. One more second. There we go. And we're giving this three stars. For being a very interesting story. Different tale of ghosts. All right. And that is it for me tonight. I don't know why I sang it. Like I said, it's been a long day. It's been a long week. I can't wait till tomorrow for my end of the week. And I'll have another review tomorrow. Should be doing one of my graphic novels tomorrow. So whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> have a great night, guys. Happy reading. Pleasant dreams. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another wonderful review. Aw, oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>